Hello, my name is Ben Parker. I'm Elite Series Pro, rookie on the Bassmaster Trail this year. And I've got a quick tip for you on football jigs and trailers. And how I rig my trailer up before I put it on my jig. Now, a lot of jigs will have this barb here at the end. And a lot of people will actually take their trailer and they'll run it up the hook until it hangs right there. I don't ever do that. Um, I think you get a lot more action if you just simply take the trailer and hook it on the hook, just nose hook it like this. That way when the jig starts to fall, if you have this misaligned and say the trailer is hooked like this or just off in the slightest, that jig's not gonna fall like you want it to fall. I want my jig to fall straight down and I want the little claws to be flapping when they go down. So if this is off any degree, it, you're not gonna get the right fall. The best way to get, to get a great fall and a little trick to keep the trailer staying on the hook a little bit better, I'll just take ordinary toothpick. I'll take my trailer, I will insert the toothpick through the nose like so, just like that. Then I'll take a pair of scissors and I'll make one snip here. I'll make one snip here so the toothpick is inside the plastic but you can't see it. I'll take my hook, bend the weed guard down, and just simply hook it just behind that toothpick. This will keep you from losing a lot of trailers. Now, if you're catching a lot of fish, of course they're going to tear some of them off. But, you know, on errant casts and you reel up real fast, you're not just going to inadvertently lose your trailer when you have a little bit of toothpick right in the nose and hang it there. And you can see how that trailer swings. It's swinging free of the hook. So you know when this jig is falling, this trailer is going to swing back and forth and the legs are going to be flapping just perfectly. I'm not worried about there there's not being any plastic in here. I don't want any plastic in between here because this is going to, you know, this gives the, the hook more room to work than to have it all beefed up with plastic from the head of the jig all the way to the back of the hook. So I hope you like that little trick. I use it all the time and uh, save a lot of money in trailers that way. With Lowrance HDS, I had one of the best seasons of all time. Winning at Gunnersville, structure scan revealed a stretch of river channel lined with stumps and loaded with fish. And at Smith Mountain, I used GPS mapping to find specific windblown points that held the biggest bass. If you want to win like me, you better get HDS. I'm Skeet Reese. Change your view with HDS and structure scan.